For many years, people have wondered if they could run Android apps on Linux and Linux apps on Android. Well, the answer has always been kind of a mixed bag. Sure, you could do it to a degree, but there is a lot involved most of the time. With the development of Waydroid, where getting Android apps on Linux seems like it's a viable thing now. There's still a lot of development on it, but there's a lot of promise and potential there. But the other way around has always seemed a bit unlikely. Sometimes it required you to root your phone and all sorts of stuff. However, times seem to be changing as Android Authority is reporting that Google is developing official support for running Linux apps on Android devices. Google is developing a framework to let you run Debian in a virtual machine on your Android device, which is very cool. So they have a TLDR, which that's nice. So it says it's developing a Linux terminal app for Android. The terminal app can be enabled via developer options and will install Debian in a virtual machine. This app is likely intended for Chromebooks, but might also be available for mobile devices too. It's kind of weird that they would say it's it's mostly it's it's intended for Chromebooks because that's kind of confusing. If Google is making it for Android, why would it be for Chromebooks? Because that's not Android. And you can yes, you can you can use Android apps on Chrome OS, but you can also already use Linux apps on Chrome OS. So that part's kind of confusing. Anyway, this is interesting because they're saying that engineers at Google started work on a new terminal app for Android a couple of weeks ago. So it's only been a couple of weeks. And it used to require some manual configurations to set everything up and to configure it and all that sort of stuff. But recently, Google has begun work on integrating the terminal app into Android as it is, as well as turning into an all-in-one app for running a Linux distro in a VM, which is very, very interesting. Now, Google is still working on this terminal app to improve it for various different features, but it already has support for graphics and some input options, but it's preparing to add support for backing up and restoring snapshots as well, and also including nesting virtualization and devices with x86-64 architecture. So there is a lot of interesting stuff here. We don't know when this is coming out just yet, but they are suspecting it to be available in Android 16. Now, Android 16 is not expected until next year, so there is still a bit of a wait, but if you would like to check out the terminal demo, you can check it out at the link in the show notes from Android Authority. 